What's up guys, I'm commissioning um, a bunch of brand new units for a warehouse. They're going to be doing a temperature mapping. There's like a whole bunch of sensors going in. The units need to be running. The ceiling fans need to be spinning to push that warm air to the ground. But check this out. Ooh, my hard hat. I never wear a hard hat. It's clean as a whistle. No stickers, no dirt, no scratches. I got to get some, some stickers on this thing. Anyway. One of the units I came to, the pulleys were like this. The drive pulley and the blower pulley were offline like this. The belt was off, okay. The blower pulley had risen up the shaft and the adjustment on the, uh, the, the, the motor pulley, the adjustment had spun right off and fell down. All right, we had no airflow and it was a set screw thing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick to put your set screw in and keep it in there by Tightening, retracting, tightening, and retracting. It's worked for me, okay, in the past, and it'll probably work for you if you do it right. So watch this video, guys. Go to the roof. So we had the set screw on this pulley kind of uh, come loose, and the pulley, it was actually up, sitting around here, and that put the alignment the drive pulley right out of whack but what else happened was a set screw came loose on this pulley the set screw right here okay and this is an adjustable pulley you can see that by the threads inside so we can adjust that bottom piece down so what had happened is the um, this bottom piece here because the set screw came undone it wound its way off and was just sitting down here and the belt was off so the alignment was out of whack and this bottom adjustment had fallen off and the belt was sitting right in the unit that's a problem and it was a problem relating to set screw tightening set screws weren't tightened properly and I'm going to show you a way that you can kind of fasten a set screw into place and kind of have it stay in place without using any sort of Loctite. Now I don't like using Loctite on pulleys and, and uh, bearings and stuff like that because you have to eventually take them apart. And if you have Loctite on there it could be an issue. I've never had to use, use Loctite on bearings or pulleys in like a rooftop unit or, or anything like that. Once in a while you do but not in every application. This is a York rooftop. I haven't had to use it in this application yet. So I'm gonna show you a bit of a way that you can maybe get these things tight and stay set. Okay, you can see the Allen screw's got a bit of a rough bottom to it, a rough edge. So what we're gonna do is we're going to screw that into the key of the shaft. The key sits in the keyway um, of the shaft and the pulley. And basically we're gonna screw the Allen screw right into that key. So we're gonna tighten it and leave a groove, retract it and then tighten it again and repeat until we've left a groove big enough that that screw will sit in. Um, it's a good practice to use to get these things to sit into place. I'll show you what I mean. So we are gonna tighten that Allen screw down and then we're going to Go back and forth on the key. You can see the key there, sit between the shaft and the pulley. We're going to go back and forth on it a few times. And what that's doing is it's kind of leaving a groove into that key that the Allen screw is going to sit on. A few times give it one last tighten and it should have its own little seat in there to sit on now little tip for the day happy H tracking guys hmm I wonder why this is not moving any air 